Okay, let's do a little video analysis of your second stack and tilt lesson here. This is actually uh, one of your rehearsals. Before you hit, I want you to see how nice. I want you to see how nice and smooth it looks when you're doing it as a rehearsal. Very nice. Look at that head staying perfectly straight, steady there. Okay. Then the actual shot itself. Like this. Club comes nice to the inside. It intercepts your right arm right through the middle of the bicep. Make a nice smooth transition without too much dipping of the head. Good. Very, very nice. Boy, what a difference. I'll show you what the difference is between that and when we first started, but first I wanted to point out. A couple of things here. There's some lines. First thing I want to show you is right before you. I'm going to put in a couple of lines here for uh, to show you where your head is positioned. Let me help you with doing that little drill, putting your head up against the wall. That's where your head is positioned. So goes through the swing. Now watch what happens when you first start swinging. Watch. Look at that. Look how far off and up. A little bit up, but mostly off. See this? Look at that. So your first move is to come back. And then it pretty much stays on on that level throughout the whole swing. Look at that. That's really good. Stand up just a little bit right at impact or shortly thereafter, but still pulling back from that front wall. So it's going to help that drill of holding your head up against the wall is really going to help here. Now, let, let me just show you here. If you, if you draw the wall in here. See? You get, you get back to here. Now let's redraw that wall. Let's see what happens. Watch this now. So in other words, if you could bring your club back to here and then keep your head totally still and move it back. Move the club back to address position. That will teach you where your head should be at the start. If you don't understand that, we'll talk about that the next time. But look at this. Look at that from that position, huh? Not bad. You come off it a little bit there, but that's that's getting really close. So we're going to talk about that when, uh, in the next um, in the next session. But this, boy, that looks so good, so different, huh? Great. Now, just for comparison here, this is your, um, uh, down the line of your, of your rehearsal swing on the left, and then your real swing on the right. Just wanted to, um, draw the, the uh, level of inclination here and let you watch how you rotate around that level of inclination, maintaining it really, really well compared to when you first started out here. This one, of course, is perfect to your uh, rehearsal. And uh, it's all real good going through the back swing. You just stand up just a little bit, but watch this now through the through impact. Look at how far you've moved up on this one, whereas this one you're staying, the rehearsal is staying right on that level of inclination. And see how now you're standing standing up here, whereas here in the rehearsal, you're staying um, properly inclined. Now, the only way you can do that is to right tilt as you turn and extend. So this one, the right shoulder has to be down more like it is in the um, in the rehearsal. Look at this. Look at this rehearsal. It has beautiful head down, pointed right at the ball. Body is left tilting. That right shoulder is down. Look how far up this is. So you still have a tendency when that ball gets in there. Of course, we all do different things when the ball is down there in front of us. But when the ball is there, you have a tendency to stand up 
through the hitting area. So the longer you can stay down, of course, once the ball goes on, it doesn't really matter, but well, the, the longer you can stay down, the more possibility it is that you're going to be in the right position when you make impact. It's really nice in this rehearsal. Look at that. And this one, you're stood up. You're stood up. Now we got this. So, that's interesting. Food for thought. Okay, let's see how you looked after the uh, second lesson compared to how you were when we first started. First started on the left, obviously. Second lesson over here. It's quite a major difference. Look at that. That's pretty significant there, Patty. All right, let's go back to draw some lines here and see how different it really is. You can see right there, by the way. Uh, look at that. That's, uh, right. Look at that impact. Right after impact, look how fast you stand up. You used to stand up over here. Now you're keeping that head down. I know you're trying to do it. If Maybe even forcing it, but you got to do that at first. Pretty soon it'll start feeling natural. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay. All right. Let's draw some lines here. Your angle of inclination looks uh, looks like a good inclination. It's about 40 degrees. You're a little standing up a little bit straighter here. I like that actually. This is about the right uh, this is about the right angle. That's good. Let's see how it works with you moving around that center, that's the most important thing to notice from down here. Now watch at the beginning here when you first take the club away. Look at how far to the outside this comes. And of course that toe is you know, starting to point in as we've already noticed. This one looks much better, see? And see it's coming, it's coming back, it's actually coming straight back. We could still go to the inside a little bit better, but uh, but look at that. Look at the difference there. This one coming way to the inside versus this one, so that's good. That's very good. Now here, remember, we talked about crossing the uh, um, crossing the right arm with your hands at in about the middle of the bicep area. See here, you're already starting to go straight up, and look at how much you've stood up. This is your angle. This is your angle of your spine angle right now. Whereas here. You're pretty close. You're standing up just a little bit, as I showed you in the first uh, in the first um, shot that I that I uh, commented on. Here, look at that. Look at, that's perfect. That is like that's that's exactly what we want to see right in there. Okay, the hands passing through the the uh, right arm with the center of the bicep. That's great. That's very good. Look at how much. Look at how how your arm is bent here. That's why you're going straight up. See your arm is bent right there. Whereas here you got more of a straight arm going. Really good, Patty. Really good. Okay, left knee is uh, bent. Right knee straightening. Same here. It looks good. I like the way you have your foot flared out here. That looks good. Okay, there's the top of the swing. I guess you don't go f quite as far back here as you did over here, but that's fine. That's okay with me as long as that arm stays straight. Okay. And then we start down. See how far, remember how you dip down and forward here? You can't see the forward, but you can see you're dipping down here. That transition, look at that transition here. It's this transition when you get to the top. There. See, there's hardly any, there's hardly any dip involved. That's really good. That's really good. Look at how, look at how steady you are there. Really good. Okay, and here when we get to this position, look how 
far the club is coming from the inside here compared to here. Here it's starting to come out, and so it's going to go over the top. Here you're coming from the inside. Really a good position right there. Look at that club going straight down the arm line. That's exactly what we want to see, whereas here it's up in the air. That's perfect. Look at that come from the inside, coming from the inside, whereas this one's starting to go over the top. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. So your head staying down over the ball here. Angle of inclination, you stood up a little bit, but uh, not as bad as over here. Right shoulder staying down. Could be down more, could be down more. Or would you start a little higher? But then you don't have to manipulate it as much. But look at how you're standing up over here. <laughs> at least here you're still down. Now notice here how your hands come out. Even though you stood up here, you see your hands are starting to come out right about in the middle of the uh, theater, way up above your shoulder here. Here, this is a line we use sometimes to uh, to represent a wall right in back of your butt uh, to show premature extensions. And watch what happens here between the old swing and the new swing. Um, everything looks good. Down through impact, you see your back to the, when the hip turns, it goes right back to where it is. Here the hips are delayed turning, and that, and that's going to cause you to have to see, move away. You see where you're tucking your hips underneath and moving away there. Look how far away you're moving. Whereas here your left hip is turning and actually replacing the your back up against that wall. So whereas here your hips haven't turned. See you've already hit the ball but your hips haven't turned. Here they're open about 20 degrees. They should be about 20 degrees on the uh, right at impact. They should be open about 20 degrees here. And that keeps that other uh, left hip uh, up against the wall, whereas here you're just extending forward with your with both hips and not turning them. So this is a great great improvement here when it comes from straightening that left leg and bending the right leg and turning the hips, keeping your head down. So it gets even worse as over here as you go through the shot. So you've made your difference there. Made your difference. All right, good job. Okay, here's the uh, caddy view. After lesson two, this is the uh, this is a rehearsal swing. What did you see? So I hope you're doing these rehearsals now before you do the real swing. Rehearsal swing. Pretty nice. Look at that. Look at that impact there. That's the rehearsal swing. That's very, very nice. Very nice rehearsal. Let's see what happens when you actually step up to the ball. Okay. Well, there sure is difference in in lesson one, but let's take a look at a few things here. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Alrighty, watch the head. This arm looks straight. This whole setup position looks good. The hands could be just a little bit further forward. I like the way you're flaring your foot. Maybe just a little bit more. And don't forget to give the flare a little bit on the right foot there. It doesn't have to be as much, but a little bit. Okay, so. Remember I showed you from the back how your head tilted backwards, moved backwards and up a little bit. It also goes back just a little bit. It's not significant, though. I'm not that 
I'm a little worried about it getting back that far, though. I think what you're doing is concentrating on keeping this arm straight, which is good up till this point. But, see right in there? Right in there? Look at that. It's all just elbow bend there. That's not doing you any good whatsoever. So you got to keep either you got to keep your shoulders turning around or you got to just stop there. Otherwise that that's just adding stuff to the swing that's not doing you any good. Okay, but your shoulders are 90 degrees at this point, so that's pretty good. Your head's way off though. So I want the head back here and the shoulders further down. Okay. It gets back here. It's not nearly as bad as it was where we used to go through, completely through. You did manage to get it right back to where it was supposed to be there. But now you're starting to stand up again. But look at this. this is a great, a great impact position here. Okay, that's nice. Your hands haven't flipped over. Your arm is just a little starting to bend just a little bit here, though. Let's see, we to compare that to what it was back in the rehearsal. Let's look at the rehearsal shot again. Go back to that rehearsal shot. Look at that. See? That's the way it, that's the way it should be there. Right there. Not not with your arm bent here, but with your arm straight out. That's the rehearsal shot. And then when you go into the real shot and you get out to that same spot. Look at how you bend up there, see, so. Gotta keep those arms straight. That little straight arm punch drill is a good way to remember that. And this is where your right shoulder starts really lifting up there. Which is okay, the ball's gone, but here, that's pretty good. See your right shoulder going down now instead of, instead of around. So you're holding it much more. It's just a matter of getting a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more in the back swing, a little bit more in the follow through. Otherwise, pretty darn good. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at some shots of you versus the, the new you versus the old you. Okay, we got to hold it. That head a lot more steady. You notice back in the uh, in the uh, rehearsal shot here, you're still moving off the ball even in the rehearsal. Look at that. So that head up against the wall drill will be good. Here's that's a great that's a great position right there. Great position. But now when you consider you came from my way back there, so let's work more on keeping that head totally steady. Okay. Okay, this is something for both of us to be proud of here. This is the caddy view of the Swing after lesson two versus when you first started out. Watch the difference here. Look at this setup. I mean, just to begin with, which golfer who looks like a better golfer here? This is beautiful. Look, your arms are straight here, coming down. Beautiful. Handle this is straight, straight down from your shoulders. Beautiful. Whereas here, it's got do near near. Okay, so watch this now. Just take away. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's that P2 that we talked about. Look at the difference with that bent arm here. This is beautiful. Club's coming more to the inside. You can't tell. Well, you sort of can tell from there. It's pointing back as opposed to pointing out. That's beautiful. Good job, Patty. Now, at this point, the arm, the left arm, this is where the left arm starts buckling in both shots. Not not quite as bad on this one as it is as it was when we started. So you're getting there, but we want to we want to make further improvements there. Okay. That's the 
feeder to your arm's perfectly straight here. Now it hasn't gotten back to straight here yet. That's nice. Look at this. See how far your head is slid in front here, whereas here you're making an attempt to keep your head back. Look at this impact position here. Get back to there. What a difference, Patty. Look at that. This looks so strong. It's a bent arm just a little bit here, but uh, certainly not what it was back then. Right? That really looks more like a golfer than this. And then here, see, you're still bending this arm up, but at least it's staying into your side here. That the chicken wing is really moving out to the outside. This looks, this is getting much closer. Still, you have lifted up a little bit. Gets worse, but very nicely done. Very nicely done. That's quite a difference. Quite a difference. Let's watch that through again. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. See here how your left shoulder has gone down. It's a full 90 degree rotation there. So. Much, much stronger, much more relaxed and confident. Let's, uh, let's put these, uh, these guys back on just, uh, just as a comparison. Just so you can see the difference. Head is still mm, sliding off, sliding off center. Both pictures, it's actually not too good in this one. We're gonna have to work on that. Look at this. We're gonna need to work on the setup position, I think, because. Sliding off here. Open up. I think it's because you're trying to keep your arms straight there. But we gotta work on that a little bit. And then, but there you get right back into the center of it. Over here. Oops. Look at how far forward. Look at it. Look at how far forward you went there. You really overreacted there. Your whole body moved forward. Here, at least, your shoulder is staying above. Your shoulder is staying right above where the low point of the swing is. Here, look how far out it is in front of the ball. So, and here your head moved all the way out of the scroll on the other side. Here, at least, you're still. You're still headed straight over the ball. That's great. Even though you've lifted up a little bit, we're going to work on that lifting up part. Okay? Good job, Patty. That was a great, uh, that was a great lesson. What an amazing difference, huh? All right. Look forward to continuing.